This is my dolly using the cam on wheels CW3 wheels. You can see the units there and it's being powered by a salvaged motor that I got from Princess Auto in their surplus department. The dolly itself is built out of T-brackets on either side with the axles in between and an aluminum plate on the top with a ball mount Manfrotto holding the camera. I'm currently doing a time lapse using Shoot Move Shoot which is um, powered by the MX2 dolly engine by Dynamic Perception which is controlling the dolly motor um, which is running off of this uh, rubber tire on here and it's also controlling the camera at the same time taking a shot every five seconds. The dolly length uh, is about 36 inches with uh, two 18 inch pieces that you can see are spliced together and the whole dolly breaks down and will go into a backpack or a suitcase for airline tra transport. There's also a mount with a monitor arm that holds the dolly MX2 dolly engine. And there's tripods on either side with ball mounts holding it all together. Um, these end brackets clamp the two three-quarter inch stainless steel tubes in place. As you can see here, there's two thumb screws on the top. And the wheel here you can see a little closer is uh, pulled up against the bottom of the stainless steel tubing uh, with this spring. There you can see the T-brackets a little closer and those are just available at any uh, hardware store. I've used four of them. You can see uh, they're doubled up on either side. Very smooth operation for time lapse or I can use it as a video dolly as well. Um, the motor also, um, if you see right here, um, there's one one uh, one screw that you take off to remove the motor and then the spring as well. And there's a close-up of the CW3 wheels with the bearing. Very smooth sliding. You can see underneath um, there's a slot on the T-bar that you can bring the CW3 wheel up on the bottom side of the tubing just to make it all tight so that it doesn't wobble if your camera is a little bit off center. See it there a little bit as well. There's a close-up of the clamping system.